Hi friends, welcome to Betty Jane Handmade. Uh, my name is Chelsea and I'm an accountant by day and a self-taught seamstress by night. Um, I am currently redoing my sewing room and I thought this would be a great way to bring everyone along and show you in real time, kind of, how I made this transition and what products we used and hopefully the end result will be great and you'll get some inspiration from it as well. So a little bit of backstory, my husband and I bought our house as a new build in June of 2019. So we have been here currently about seven, eight, eight months, about eight months. Um, and when we first moved into this house, we had a plan for almost all of the rooms. We have four bedrooms, one master and three secondary bedrooms, one of which is a guest room. And the other two are, we have kind of used as free space. So we don't have any children yet, but we knew that since we really didn't need the fourth of our four bedrooms currently, we would just leave it empty because we are planning on having children soon. So we dedicated the remaining room to my sewing, which is great because as any seamstress knows, getting your machine out and rethreading and you know, setting everything up the way you want it every single time you have to sew is a real drag. So it's a lot easier to get in there and do the thing you love when it's all set up the way that you want it to. So I got a sewing room. My husband uses the garage for his woodworking and we've loved it that way. The only problem is my sewing room is the smallest of our three secondary bedrooms in this house. Not by a ton, but in terms of linear feet on the walls, it is very cramped. Um, you'll see a little bit more when I show you the room that I'm currently using. But it's uh, just not the best space. And I was saving the room next to our bedroom for our nursery eventually, thinking, oh, it's right next door. It's the biggest of the rest of these rooms. But the more I got to thinking about it and the more frustrated I got with my current sewing space, the more I realized that babies don't need a ton of room. And we don't even have a baby yet. So I'm moving into the bigger room. And it's just going to make such a huge difference in my craft and in my organization. And I hope you enjoy watching and I hope you get a little bit of inspiration from it as well. Since this is my first YouTube video, I know you're all new here, unless you're watching later on. Please feel free to like, subscribe, um, send me a message, write a comment about your sewing space or things you would like to see from me in the future. And let's go ahead and look around. Okay, so I'm standing at the top of my stairs here. When you get to the top of the stairs, this is a laundry room and a linen closet. This is our master bedroom and you turn this corner and there's three bedrooms down here and a guest bath. So this is the bigger room that I'll be moving into. That is our guest room that we're leaving where it is. That's the bath guest bath which is currently not accessible because of my ironing station and my sewing room currently is in here. <laughs> It is, you can already see, it's so messy and that's on me. It needs to be cleaned better, but so this is what we're currently working with. It is cramped. It is not the most functional space. And when I set up this room, I had first started sewing. I didn't really know exactly what I needed to have and where I needed to have it. So I just kind of set it up like this because without this card table, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing. So um, what we have is, this is just, like I said, a folding card table. I cut all my projects on it. I use my Cricut on it. I bring it over, set it up, etc. But 
it's not wide enough for this gorgeous cutting mat that I got for Christmas. This cutting mat is three feet by five feet. This table is not three feet by five feet. I think this one's like 26 inches wide, maybe 30 inches wide by six feet long. So the cutting mat just doesn't fit. Um, a lot of the stuff in here came from my great grandmother's house. Um, my great grandmother's name was Betty Jane. She is my um, inspiration for starting to sew and especially the inspiration for the name of my business. Um, these little baskets that I keep yarn in, I got from her house. I keep yarn in them because she kept yarn in them. Um, this, China, it used to be a china cabinet. Um, but now I use it for fabric and vinyl storage. Came from her house as well. It belonged to her mother-in-law, my great-great-grandmother. And all of my PDF patterns, you can't really see up there, but they live on top of that. It's not great. I have to get them all down and dig through them to find what I'm looking for. I will say that the fabric storage has not been bad. I just go in there and I open it up and I grab what I'm looking for. Um, but it's just not, it's slap full and it's not even half of the fabrics that I want, need, like to have. So, I mean, this is not terrible, but it could be better for sure. Vinyl lives down below in that compartment. And there's my patterns up there. It's just not great. Um, and this trash can needs a better home. It'll live in the closet, I believe, in the new room. This little cube organizer came from Target um, many moons ago when I moved into my first house that I bought as a bachelorette. Um, the baskets have notions. Um, some of my supplies live in there. This one's a great example of just chaos. Just chaos. Um, my Cricut sits on top. I would like for that to not be the case as well because I have to move the Cricut every time I want to use it. Um, this folding table, I, I have no good things to say about the folding table and its functionality. It hits at my um, thigh so I'm constantly bent over it, which hurts <laughs> after a while. It's currently a huge mess because I am out of fabric room. I am, you know, these are little works in progress. This is a baby gown that is finished and needs to be mailed. But, you know, there's just, it could be so much better. <laughs> um this little tackle box style thread container and notions container came from my great grandmother's house as well. Um, but I'm digging in it all the time. It doesn't close very well. Um, I sit on this ottoman to stitch. Talk about killing your back. That really is not the best situation either. But the biggest impetus other than the cutting table for this move and needing to do something different is this desk. I love this desk so much. It was my mom's desk in college. She gave it to me. I painted it. I absolutely adore it, and I am going to find somewhere to continue using it, but it fits these two machines not very well. I kind of have to straddle the side there to use my serger. This is a serger, and this is a regular sewing machine with lots of clips from my recently finished project on it. Um, but it just, it's not big enough. I have another machine. It's called a cover stitch machine, which is sitting over here in its box because I don't have anywhere to put it. So the room is just not, it's not laid out well. It's not big enough. And it's, not the best furniture situation. I have to come out here to do all my ironing. And if you do any sewing and that's why you're watching this video, you know that you are pressing a lot and your iron is much better situated with your machines. So let's look at the new space.
This is the room that I'm going to be using. I know it doesn't look much bigger in this video, but it feels so much bigger. It's more of a square room. And um, as you can see, some things have collected in here. After our move, we got a new, more firm mattress for our bed that came in this box. And this is our mattress that we had. Um, it was in the middle of the floor, but I am impatient and stubborn, and I moved it and leaned it up against the wall. Uh, had every intention of getting it out of the room, but I'm not that strong. So I leaned it up against the wall, and that's just an AO pattern that somehow made its way in here. Um, this is a cedar chest that's been in my family for I don't even know how long, but it lives in here until I can find a better spot for it. Um, that spot will be coming soon because I've got to get it out of here. But this is generally the room that I'm looking at. Um, I won't say the light is any better. It's still only got one window, but the space is a lot more functional. So what we're going to do is we got an Ikea desk, um, well, a modular set of things that is going to make a desk that will be in an L shape right here in this corner. We are going to hack together a cutting table that'll go in the middle right here, kind of diagonal behind the L-shaped desk. I'm going to put my full length mirror over here. I do a lot of garment sewing for myself and maybe for others in the future. That'll go next to that window so it's got some good light. And I'm not really sure about over here yet. It'll be some fabric storage um, really, I just want to see what I'm working with once I get all of the furniture put together on this side of the room to see what else can go in here and it not be cramped the way that the other one was. So this room, the other room has a closet as well, but I'll show you the closet in here. This room has this closet for storage space which needs to be cleaned out so that I can put things like my big trash can and I'm going to hang my patterns in here. Um, it's got lots of space. There's plenty of room back here as well. And um, I'm very excited to utilize this space better than for, I don't know where else to put it, storage, uh, which is what it's currently being used for now. So I'm very excited to get this furniture up here. I think I might go ahead and bring a few things up here and start trying to put together myself. Um, Thomas should be home anytime now. So this is my new space. That box has got to go. So it has been several weeks, maybe even a month since the other clips and slowly but surely we've gotten this room put together and it's finally ready to show off. Um, when you first open the door, you see my cutting table there with, um, that's not all of my fabric, but some of the fabric has made its way over and it's got that gorgeous cutting mat on top. It finally has a place to live and I've so enjoyed using it. Um, it is directly underneath my projector, which eliminated the need for all of those um, paper patterns. And now I just project directly onto this cutting mat and I can just cut straight away and that's awesome. So eventually my husband is gonna put a shelf in that corner for my laptop. It's not a huge priority right now and that is perfectly fine with me. It works just great the way it is. Um, the cutting table is made of three of the little, um, I think they're like eight bucks a piece, Linman uh, tabletops from Ikea. We did have to cut one down to size and Thomas um, put them together with a Craig pocket jig for me. Uh, so they're one solid piece. Uh, the base is three of the Calax cube units. Um, they're the little four cubby units. And they're, the tabletop is screwed onto them from underneath, if that makes sense. Um, 
And then over here is my machine table, which is a vast improvement from the small space I was working with before with two machines on it. I finally have a place to put my cover stitch and my straight stitch machine and my serger and my Cricut. And they all have plenty of room that I can sew in between. This is two of the little $8 Lindman tabletops on either end. And the drawer units are the Alex drawers from Ikea. It's the five drawer system. I already had one of them, so we just got an additional one. Uh, the legs are the Adel's legs. They are $4 a piece and phenomenal. Uh, the corner here is a Linman corner unit and it just, they fit together seamlessly. Obviously I need to line them up a little bit better, but I've been st stitching on them in these machines buck. So they do move the tables out of place occasionally, but we'll eventually put brackets and put them all together. I do keep my Cricut unplugged because I'm a little paranoid. I've read, um, reviews from others who say that uh, if you leave it plugged in, it'll overheat and can catch fire, and I certainly don't want that. I don't know what kind of truth there is to that, but I'd rather not risk it. Um, this usually is not sitting back here, but it is just my uh, letter board that I put my product names on and a couple of products ready to be shipped. Um, this will eventually go on the wall. It's perfect for storing vinyl. It's from Ikea. It's actually meant to be a grocery, like a plastic grocery bag dispenser. Um, but it fits the rolls of vinyl perfectly and eventually it'll go on the wall. We are going to get some pegboard to put here and here meeting in the corner where I can hang my um, scissors and a thread spool holder on it. And that'll be really cool. And then over here, my dress form. My husband hates that I call it a dress form. He says it's a mannequin, whatever. Um, it gets the best light from this window and it's perfect for taking product images in this space. Um, my full length mirror also is great over here for the same reason, great light, um, good for selfies in the mirror. Uh, but I use that daily doing fit checks and whatnot. So, um, I really enjoy having that in the space as well as having a pressing station in the space. My iron is not the best. It's probably 20 years old and I'm due for a new one, but it gets the job done right now. And it's in the room, which is what really matters. So it is, um, up against this window here and I can really get a good crisp press on everything without having to go into the hallway to use it. And for that, I'm thankful. The trash can eventually will still go into the closet. It just hasn't made its way there yet as the closet is not yet cleaned out. So that is the room and I am so pleased with it. I've um, spent almost all day every day in here for the past couple of weeks and it's just perfection. If you have made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching my space transform from cramped and tight to nice and pretty. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, send me a comment or a suggestion. Bye.